Hello and welcome back to another Glue tutorial. If we now turn our attention to the taxonomy terms dynamic tag, what this allows us to do within a template such as your archive, it will allow us to output any of the taxonomy terms that we wish. So let's go ahead and take a look at this now. So with a heading widget, as an example, if we click on dynamic tags, scroll down to glue dynamic tags and if we select taxonomy tags we have some options to output any of the taxonomies that we want so what we can take a look at is either categories tags or formats and of course if you have any custom taxonomies these will be selectable here so let's check out categories we have some output formats which are ul structure ol structure delimiter array length and specific array so let's go through these one by one so UL structure is just a standard unordered list. We have the OL structure, which is an ordered list. We have a delimiter, which we can then set the return value as either title, slug, ID, link, or clickable title. So if we click on title and we delimit a comma. So as you can see, it outputs the two terms available. So if we take a look at the other return values and take a look at slug, let's hit comma. And of course the IDs, the link, and a combination of the clickable title. So this will be the title itself, but of course it is actually a link too. So the next option is array link. So the output of this is how many items are within that array. So of course, we have two because we have two terms and then finally we have specific array and what this allows us to do is cherry pick any of these items from the array and of course an array index begins with zero and it returns back our first term of course if you select one it's the second term and so on so as you can see this gives you total control and flexibility over which taxonomies and terms you want to show and where Thank you very much again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.